There are 20 different land crabs on the island, the most diverse collection in the world. And because of their remarkable abundance, they pretty well call the shots. They have a widespread effect on the whole ecology of the island. Their burrows till the soil, their faeces provide nutrients for the soil, and they're selective in the seeds and seedlings that they eat, so they have an effect on the structure of the rainforest that grows on the island as well. They can determine which species survive to large trees and which ones don't. The biggest trees here in the Dales are these grand old Tahitian chestnuts with a tangle of places to hide. But smaller trees are just as significant, if not for shelter, then for food. Pretty little grove of palms. The Oringa palm, which is an endemic to the island, and the fruit of this tree is a favourite food of the robber crab. In other parts of the world, robber crabs are called coconut crabs, and they are the largest arthropods on the planet. They are actually related to insects, and they've got this fantastic sense of smell. You can see the, the, the two pairs of antennas. The big long ones are the, the sort of spatial ones where they work out where they are, but the, the two little ones in the front that are continually moving all the time are the ones that they smell with. They've actually got one of the finest sense of smells of any animal in the universe. Hundreds of times better than dogs. Who knows, we might have them at airports one day. <laughs> and if that day should ever arrive, a word of advice re your luggage. Never let it out of your sight. For these crabs are as light-fingered as their nickname suggests. Because they just pick anything up that's foreign in their territory and take it away and see if they can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you lost oh, <laughs> in the years of working? We've lost all sorts of things, spades, a spade? Um, yeah, they've <laughs> out. And, and uh, I should, probably shouldn't say it, but the army have also lost some of their firearms here. <gasps> <laughs> the robber crabs have dragged them off into the forest. And... Oh, no. Is it true, though, that, that they could lose a claw and they would actually just grow another one back? Yep, they do that. The new appendage emerges when they molt, but it takes a number of molts for it to actually grow back to its original dimensions, so it can take them a number of years. Their ability to stop bleeding out, despite having an open circulatory system, is something scientists are studying in earnest. A lot of our researchers have been sort of examining this, this feature of their physiology to see, you know, how it might possibly be utilised in surgery, uh, you know, closing off blood vessels and things like that. They really are quite extraordinary creatures with an amazing capacity to survive. And thanks to the protection they're afforded here, they appear to be doing that with relative ease. We estimate that there'd be in excess of a million of them, the largest population of the animal in the world. They just got this I don't care attitude about life generally. You know, they go where they want and do what they want. And it's only us humans that hinder them, you know, otherwise they've got free reign of the place. Yeah. 